Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got a special video for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys an offense where I'm going to take this guy right here, Tyreek Hill, 99 overall, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, and I'm going to put him at running back. This is something that you can only really do in a few formations. I'm going to show you the one that I like to use the most, and I'm going to show you guys an offense that is without a doubt. When you do this, is one of the glitchiest, cheesiest offenses that you can run in the game. I'm in mutt, but you can easily do this and have a much bigger advantage in regular game modes. You can also use just about any receiver you want but what Tyreek Hill has that most other receivers don't have is human joystick now this is 8 AP Ooh, I think that might be the most AP of any ability in the game I pretty much have to take away just about every other ability that I have do it. just do it the only abilities I'm gonna be left with and the ones that I think that are most important are gonna be identifier obviously human joystick and then my other running back or my main running back rather I'm gonna have uh, you know jukebox on so I'm not saying you should do this normally I'm not saying that the 8 AP is worth it but I'm doing this for this gameplay so if you guys like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section because I definitely think it's going to kick this gameplay up a notch so just do it now other than that to make this offense work the adjustment I'm gonna make is going to essentially put the third wide receiver on your depth chart into the running back position so make sure that you have whatever receiver you're using at the the third receiver so right here Tyreek Hill is gonna be wide receiver three now before we get into the video if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine do me a favor check out my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com link in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off getting into the first gameplay I'm still using the pistol offensive playbook and the formation I'm gonna use is the very first formation the pistol full house this formation right here has a very special sub package where if you hit the right stick to the left one time you'll get wide receiver backfield this is what's going to basically put Tyreek Hill as a running back you're gonna see as I flip around you see this running back turns into number 10 so now I have Tyreek Hill at one of my running back spots and I'm gonna basically pick every single play around that but all these plays all these run and pass plays with the halfback off tackle the PAX post these are all plays that basically feature this particular position I'm also gonna have I'm gonna put all these in my audibles by the way because I'm gonna feature this position the deep curls another one the zone read probably is the best run play in this formation you can see I average nine yards a carry in this and it's gonna go way up with uh, Tyreek Hill running it and then I also have a couple more pass and run plays I typically have the triple option switch which is one of the better ones and the PA flood fullback slip all these plays have great routes or running concepts now on the very first play I make my reads got a tightly packed box you're gonna see that a lot I'm gonna go with the zone read you're gonna see how this zone read play all I gotta do is hold a and Tyreek Hill is just off and running in space <laughs> Human joystick going to work. Very first play, very first opponent. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. And we're hitting him with the classic Tyreek Hill chucking the deuces as we're going for a one play touchdown on the very first run. So on the defensive side, I'm not going to be very nice to my opponents today. I'm going to be using a blitz that I put out recently out of my 4-3 even 6-1. Uh, this here is in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook. It's a blitz out of the cover four quarters. I put this out recently. I'll put a link in the description if you did miss that video if you want to check out how to do this blitz. But this is an offensive video. So I'm just going to show the defensive side. I'm going to show um, how essentially this play here is just going to give me a ton of sacks, a nope. ton of takeaways on second and ten you can see we're just getting instant sacks that's basically the point uh get used to seeing that because you're gonna see that this entire video then on fourth and 19 my opponent probably already figures this out match so he's going for it. you can see i only have three zone coverages on the field that's all i have three in coverage and you can see once this play is done once i knock this ball down nope. all three of these guys are around the ball that's the whole point of having mid zone ko on your defense uh on your defensive backs on the next play on the offensive series he's running cover three so we're just going to run this wheel route to the running back <laughs> Like butter, baby. And we're up 14 nothing in what feels like seconds. So back on the defensive side, I mean, you know, this is games just good. This is how all these games are gonna go. I mean, this is just how this uh how this combination works. On the very next play, it looks like he was trying to hit that streak, but obviously got hit right away. On the next play, it looks like he's gonna try to do it again. I guess he's just trying to test my user. Gotcha, bitch. And that's never a good idea as we come up with an interception. So we get the ball back. We're inside the red zone already, and we're gonna go right back to these plays. I'm gonna hit him with that triple option switch. This here, when I run this with a receiver in the backfield, is actually one of the better 
plays to choose aside from the zone read and you can see right here i mean there's two guys waiting Psych! we flip it out and we should have had an easy touchdown but for whatever reason i thought i could outrun him without putting a juke on him or something then on the next play we're gonna go right back to that zone read which like i said it's a really good play and there's nothing but space out here i probably could have scored from a mile away and we basically go up 21 zip uh just in a few minutes in the first quarter my opponent he uh, he's had enough he obviously knows this game's not going his way see ya on to the next game, doing the exact same tricks, the exact same setups. Like I said, there's two guys over here. This play should not work. They're both waiting for the pitch. Psych! But it works because that's just how good this play is. The triple option almost gone again. As you can see, Tyreek Hill is just so fast. He's just so hard to track down. Then back to that zone replay once again, uh, which, you know, this is all just about the burners. I mean, basically, he's just faster than everybody. Now, the one issue with this particular formation is I find that you can't... I want to run this entire offense through Tyreek Hill over and over. We have another cover three as you can see right here we're just going to dot him up in the flats and we're stealing 10 to 15 just about every single time but you can see on the very next play he's almost you know he's already tired i'm, I'm running the ball with him you can see the the burners are already gone the boost speed boost is already not there and then on the very next play he's already subbed out for andre johnson Boom! So that's probably the biggest issue, or one of the biggest issues. There's two issues when it comes to running this particular offense. One of them is that, based off the fact that I want to run this entire offense to Tyreek Hill, these guys are not really made for that. You can see Andre Johnson on the very next play, he's still in there. They're not made stamina-wise to be able to do that. So you better have at least a deep bench, um, you know, a good plethora of receivers, somebody, you know, at least two guys that you're going to want to run, because my running back can handle that pounding, but the receiver can't. Then on the next play, second and 13, you can see once again, Andre Johnson's still in there. It's not going to stop us from running our offense. Right here, though this guy gives me the international signal for i'm wide open, I'm open. throw it in front of me what? and then for whatever reason rich gannon throws it behind him so i don't understand what the hell that was about we throw an interception on the defensive side we're gonna keep running that blitz um this is probably the best thing you could do against this blitz is running the ball that you know eventually uh i think that this will stop the run and the pass but this guy here starts off with some pretty good run plays running outside of this is probably going to be one of the better ways to attack this defense uh but eventually you have to pass and the second you do Get over here! It's going to uh, be a mistake. It's going to catch up with you, and it's going to cost you yards. And from the second you get that first sack, it's all downhill. Now my opponent's in deep. He's third and 14. So this is not a good spot to be in. And you can see we get a sack on the very next play. So this defense, like I said, I just put this out. Check it out. Link in the description below. You will thank me later. On the offensive side, we're just going to keep going to that cover three beater. What? What? And I'm getting real sticky with this. What? As you can see, I mean, I'm just basically making like three, four guys miss. Got a little bit too sticky there. You know what I mean? It, you can't waste that much stamina on a play like that. As you can see on the very next play, Andre Johnson's back in the game. What? And he's going to be in the game for the rest of the series, which kind of sucks because, like I said, I really want to just use Tyreek Hill. On the next play, though, I'm not going to let, uh, you know, this deter my reads. I mean, this is, I'm going to have to pitch it to Andre Johnson. You can see even he's good enough to get the job done as he gets the touchdown. <laughs> So he's going to quit as well. See ya on the next game play. So we hit him with that zone read on the very first offensive play. You can't touch this. Fumble. This is the second issue. I feel like EA nerfed this on purpose. If you run the ball with this receiver a lot, any receiver, I've also had this issue with Terry McLaurin, you definitely want to run to the sideline. For some reason, EA makes these guys fumble a lot. Uh, then on fourth and two, I go for it. I probably should have had double drags on. Uh, as that slant kind of messed me over with the depth. Uh, on the next play, I mean, I'm just putting on a tackling claim <laughs> as I let a slow tight end basically flip the field on me. Now my opponents in field goal range hit me with a couple of short shots. I mean, you know, this is why, like I said, to me, the blitzing version of this defense is much better, uh, but we're going to eventually get the stop because we force a field goal on fourth and five, uh, and my opponent gets on the board. He only gives me about 11 seconds left, and I'm starting at my own 16, but this is plenty of time, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit it with the PA counter waggle. This is the play that I use in this situation all the time. I always have this success. People typically come out in these man deep plays where they leave a lot of open space to the drag and to the uh, the Y route, to the crosser. So he covers the drag because that's the first thing he sees, leaving the Y route wide open. And we're going to get a very big catch and run with guess who? Tyreek Hill. Can I kick it? Can I kick it? as we hit the crossbar but it's just barely enough to go through as we tie up this game so in the second half i got ball i'm gonna go right back to these plays go right back to this zone read that's the thing about having a speedster like this look how wide i can loop around this edge defender and just steal a first down just steal a 10 yard rush over and over uh, it's not the only offense i'm gonna run though i do mix it up a little bit 
as you can see on the next play, hits me with a man zero blitz. So we just bomb it up as my tight end gets behind his cornerback. Then to finish it off, we're going to hit him with the speed option play. This is another series of offensive plays I just put out. Absolutely love these plays as well as we score the go-ahead touchdown. So now on the defensive side, we're going to use a slightly different blitz. We're going to hit him with the SS Blitz 3. This is a very good blitz that you don't have to send the house. You can get some really good coverage. Another blitz out of my Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook. Um, all you have to do, I didn't get the full setup in here, but you're going to see this guy still gets off the edge as he basically gets a shed and we get sacked by basically two, three people. So this play can still work, even if you don't get the full setup in, which I'm not going to do in the first couple plays. Here I get stuck in a defensive tackle. As my opponent's running these plays very quickly before I can get the setup in, I will eventually though, and I will show you how this blitz works. So he gets to do a fourth and five on the next play, dots me up. He's not doing a ton of adjustments, but he definitely, um, you know, he's, he's, he keeps getting these first downs. It takes him four downs, but he's getting first downs. So in the next play, I do get the full setup in. I get the cornerback in, which is typically one of the most important steps. Then I'm going to shift my defensive line to the right, and I'm going to bring my user down into this gap. This is going to make the blitz work as it's been intended to this entire time, as this guy just comes right off the edge. We can go! Woo! Just goes to show you guys, I don't have to use cheesy all-out blitzes the entire game to get results. As you see, my opponent's almost the fourth quarter. He's only got three points. The difference is if I was hitting him with these all-out blitzes, he probably would have quit already. On the next play, I'm basically dropping everybody back into coverage. He gets desperate. <laughs> chucks it up on third and eight. Gotcha, bitch. And throws it right into a crowd. So we're going the other way. We get an interception here with my man, Sean Taylor. And I would say the game's just about over, but there's still three minutes left. So we have to put together some good offensive plays. We're going to come out. We're going to keep hitting him with that zone replay. Like I said, this play is so hard to stop. Um, he stresses me out a little bit better, but there's just nobody on the field that can run with Tyreek Hill. On 3rd and 13, we get a first down with a run play. Then on 2nd and 14, we're just going to keep hitting this guy in the flats. Like I said, Tyreek Hill, he's just all over the field, man. This guy's a one-man army. And on the next play, I thought I stretched it out. What? I thought I got around, but I don't know what happened there. That was just a weird delayed reaction. On the next play, season to cover three, and I guess I ran this play one too many times. Damn it! As he basically undercuts it with a user lurk to get himself right back into the game with a minute and 24 seconds left. So we're going to come out with some cover threes. I don't like cover threes. I like cover fours. Very first play beats me right over the top. On the next play, he's going to do it again. I try that cover three one more time. I don't know. People swear by this now since the patch, but to me, it's still garbage. And then he basically beats me right through the seam. So it's it, to me, it's something that I get out of it right away. Two plays was enough. We go right back to that cover four. He almost beats me with a slant. Almost nope. beats me with a crosser, but I almost got an interception as well. Then on the very next play, he, like I said, he's been living and dying by this crosser. Gotcha, bitch. And I'm just going to undercut it. We're going to take it the other way. So I thought I had enough speed here to take it to the house, but I see he doesn't have any timeouts anyway, so I basically just, you know, drop down, end the game. I was going to give him these, but on the first play, I just hit him with a regular run play. I just wanted to pad my stats with Tyreek Hill, and he's sending the entire house as he run commits. So if he's going to do that, I'm going to show off one more play that you can run, and that's the PA comebacks. This route right here is a excellent man cover one beater, but since I know he's run committing, break yourself, fool! So this video is going to end the very same way that it began with a one play touchdown to Tyreek Hill. So that's it. That's the vid. All three games, Tyreek Hill was obviously the MVP. Uh, he led my team in rushing and receiving. In this one, he had 10 yards of carry rushing and 20 yards of carry or 20 yards of catch receiving. So obviously very overpowered uh, way to run an offense. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Just do it. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.